inductees of the class of 2023 for the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. The 24th class of legends have been chosen based on their record of performance, national and international recognition, as well as contributions to the game. The group will be inducted April 29th in Knoxville, Tennessee. And without further ado, here are the five legends set to go in. Kathy Boswell, Team USA medalist, gold medalist at the 84 Olympics. Donna Lobiano, CEO of the Women's Sports Foundation and also the longtime director of women's athletics at the University of Texas. Lisa Mattingly, I know Carolyn's going to talk about her and what she meant for nearly four decades as an official. The great Lindsay Whalen, four-time WNBA champ, two-time Olympic gold medalist. Andrea, how about the lady in between us? Wow. How about Carolyn Peck? Carolyn, congratulations. I know we gave you a huge show a couple of weeks ago when you were nominated to be in the Hall of Fame, but you're coaching. They talk, you talk about the record and the wins and the national championship and everything that you have done as far as basketball goes that is in the books, but it's the things that happen outside of the lines, outside of the record books that you have made such a big difference with, from giving the net to Donna Staley, from just inspiring everybody that you talk to, from being so humble. Y'all, she told all of us to not make this about her, but Carolyn, congratulations. You have done so much for the game, so much for all of us. You deserve it. Well, thank you, Drea. I appreciate that. And one thing I learned from Pat Summit is not one person is successful by themselves. I've had great staffs along the way. I've had great mentors that have given me this opportunity. But I'm also, I feel honored to be a part of a great class. When you talk about Donna Lopiano, 18 national championships at the University of Texas over six different teams. Lisa Mattingly, Lisa Mattingly was officiating when I was a player. I know Lisa's gonna go, I feel little <laughs> age, but I also had great conversations with Lisa on the sideline as a coach, and she was a tremendous teacher to teaching not only uh, the other officials, but players and coaches the rules and how you know, to explain why the officials call the things that they do. And the great Lindsey Whalen had a terrific, a terrific career at the University of Minnesota. She was one of three players as a sophomore in the Big Ten to be named Big Ten Player of the Year. She got four WNBA championships. She's got five WNBA All-Star accolades along the side of her name. So I'm tremendously honored to be uh, mentioned even in the name of this class. I was going to boycott if you weren't going to be in the class. I can't wait to be there, but I think just everything, when you talk about women that have paved the way and people that have paved the way for the game that I play, for the game that I love, and for what we have today. Like Basketball looks so different on the women's side than it used to back in the day that Carolyn is talking about, so I'm appreciative for everyone, and of course, Carolyn's setting the example, because when you're one of the best, you give credit to others, and you know what others have done for you, so... Carolyn, shout out to you. Thank you, Jerry. I appreciate it. Thank you, Kevin. I will simply say class and dignity personified, and you are one of the kindest people here at ESPN. I'm so very happy for you, Carolyn. Thank you. She's only kind when she's not.